Let us see another example. The cost of 2 kilograms of apples and 1 kilograms of grapes on a day was found to be 160 rupees. After a month, the cost of 4 kilograms of apples and 2 kilograms of grapes is 300 rupees. Represent the situation algebraically and geometrically. Here is the solution. Assume that the cost of apples be x and the cost of grapes be y. Then the cost of 2 kg's apples will be 2x and the cost of 1 kg grapes will be 1y. Given that, the total cost of 2 kg apples and 1 kg grapes is 160 rupees. That is, 2x plus y equals 160. This implies that y equals 160 minus 2x, make it as equation, 1. Similarly, the cost of 4 kg's apples is taken as 4x and the cost of 2 kg grapes is taken as 2y. Given that, the cost of 4 kg apples and 2 kg grapes is 300 rupees. We can represent the above statement as a linear equation that is, 4x plus 2y equals 300. This implies that 2y equals 300 minus 4x. Take 2 as common. This implies that y equals 2 and 2, 150 minus 2x, is divided by 2. This implies that y equals 150 minus 2x, make it as equation, 2. Let us assume values of x, and substitute it into equation, 1, that is, y equals 160 minus 2x, to get the corresponding values of y. Let us assume, x equals 1, and substitute it in the equation, 1, that is, y equals 160 minus 2x. We get y equals 160 minus 2 into 1. This implies that y equals 160 minus 2. This implies that y equals 158. Therefore the solution is an ordered pair, 1, 158. Let us assume, x equals 2, and substitute it in the equation, 1, that is, y equals 160 minus 2x. We get y equals 160 minus 2 into 2. This implies that y equals 160 minus 4. This implies that y equals 156. Therefore the solution is an ordered pair, 2, 156. Let us assume, x equals 3, and substitute it in the equation, 1, that is, y equals 160 minus 2x. We get y equals 160 minus 2 into 3. This implies that y equals 160 minus 6. This implies that y equals 154. The solution is an ordered pair, 3, 154. Let us assume, x equals 4, and substitute it in the equation, 1, that is, y equals 160 minus 2x. We get y equals 160 minus 2 into 4. This implies that y equals 160 minus 8. This implies that y equals 152. Therefore, the solution is an ordered pair, 4, 152. Let us assume, x equals 5, and substitute it in the equation, 1, that is, y equals 160 minus 2x. We get, y equals 160 minus 2 into 5. This implies that y equals 160 minus 10. This implies that y equals 150. Therefore, the solution is an ordered pair, 5, 150. Similarly, assume the x values from 1 to 5 to get y values from equation, 2, that is, y equals 150 minus 2x. Finally, we plot the two equations, equation, 1, that is, y equals 160 minus 2x, and equation, 2, that is, y equals 150 minus 2x on a single graph. By taking the values for the equation, 1, and equation, 2, from the table, 1, and table, 2, we observe that, in the graph, the lines representing the two equations are parallel, therefore, there is no common solution for the given equations.